Hey guys, me is James Sherman and today we're playing some more Read Only Memories or ROM for sure. Yeah. So, I can't remember who's where. Oh yeah, we were at this point, but the dude was like, oh no, you can't go in that apartment. And we were like, we need to get in that apartment. Uh, Right, then, um, crime status death, higher forms, higher forms. Maybe we should be looking at the paperwork. I was like, we're going to be to talk to this dude. Mm. Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, citizen. How may I be of assistance today? Uh. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, Brilliant. but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the Carousel Building in Golden Gate Park. But I will caution you to exert care. Golden Gate, isn't that somewhere in America? Mm -hmm. She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh... I apologize, citizen, but I am not authorized to comment on ongoing investigations. I will pass your concerns on to the detective in charge. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh. I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can no, Have a good day, citizen. I don't really like the fact that they don't put, like, they don't use your, um, whatever you've put in, like, so mind spirit, but, you know, because, stuff like that, but, like, if you're playing this and let's say your, your, your name was Luke, okay, um, like, why don't they not say Citizen Luke, or, like, just, you get my point. I don't really like the fact that I don't say your name, but then again, I suppose it's um, to not to butcher how your name is. Alright, Gigi Park. Oh, he's cute. He's a cute little rom. Like carousel tree, water rom. Casually dressed fellow, sharply dressed woman. Snack stand. Please don't tell me I'll have to do some more voice acting. Uh, tree Froyo Sand. We don't Froyo Sand. Froyo Sand. We don't have Froyo. We have um, ice cream. Froyo. The police department. <laughs> and Lexi. Ooh, we'll talk to you in a minute. Looking fine. Uh, can we have a quick look at the tree? The Tasmanian Blue Gum. It's one of my favorite treats. The clean lines of the leaves and modeled patterns of the bark are interesting. 
Olive is quite fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree too. Not as useful as the willow though. The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgesic, boiled into tea, or used as flavoring in foods. Can't you see I'm busy here? If you want water, I'm sure that public park rom we saw on our way in can help. Alright, calm down, Sharon. They really need a rom in a park, like a police rom in a park. Hey there, long time. Few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. It's supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. My guess? Just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Hey, right, calm down, don't look at me like that. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. 
I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. But hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in. What's going on? Oh, shoot, that's no good. Oh, wow. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. Sure, you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right, then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. No way, not gonna happen. If there's okay. already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. Calm down, jeez. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. It's why I took this nice, stable job in the city. If I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. Damn it, you know that isn't what I meant. You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? All right, fine. I'll get you into the damn department. Just be careful, okay? I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bot of the place. Let me know what you find out. All right, I better get out of here. Hey you, Froyo guy. Come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. Who, me? But... I've got to attend my stand. It 
broken. That's a crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Y yes, ma'am. Later. I'll be in touch. But I don't have a weapon. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neil SF Police Department as part of ongoing investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. One moment, citizen, while I verify Detective Rivers' authorization. Authorization obtained. Good luck with your investigation, citizen. I caution you to restrict your observations to the visual, though, as there has not been an officer in to check the scene personally. Gorgeous view of some skyscrapers. Let's up turn into Hayden then. Uh, what? Um, that wasn't like this last time. Oh no, 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 no. Our apartment, my home. Who could have done this? Why? Uh, the only one I can read is pure and I'm possibly tech. I'm not entirely sure. What does the human revolution want with Hayden? Why would they break our things? I I don't know what to do. That's gone. This place, these items. They're all I have of Hayden. Well, what if he's we'll gone back. for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. Jesus, we'll find him. You're... <sighs> You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. Well, we don't have time to waste on my histrionics. Alright, that was planet. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is tech scum. Yeah, I think I went too well. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Uh. I think the data cache is gone. We've searched everywhere, and I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. I want to read what it says about the floor. Uh. That's a distinct possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. 
The information on the MeshNet is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Is that? I wouldn't know. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Hey! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Don't know what just happened there. Okay, yeah, I know it doesn't auto save. I need to save soon. Oh, nice. Made it onto chapter two. Brilliant. Sounds like a, a little bit like Gil's theme. No one from I think it's Street Fighter. Yay! We got a trophy for that called Blackout. Oh, cheering! Thank goodness you're finally awake. Oh, jeez. I have spent the past thirty minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. Okay. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced and that you appear to be okay. I'm fine. Whoever ambushed us clearly wasn't interested in causing either of us serious harm. After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. It took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. Only two minutes. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain, but that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. Likely a mil-spec neuro scrambler. I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Trashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Okay. Leaving me when I was so vulnerable makes no sense. A reasonable deduction. Did you think? But if they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. They either had cloaking of some kind, or were extraordinarily careful while making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. I'm oh, going with the cloaking. Uh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. What happened to my water? those headphones you reviewed. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. And finally, here's your commemorative glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks yeah. like it got broken. <laughs> now all we have is this broken commemorative glass. Yeah, broken glass. Also, Just your bag got Christmas. wet. You're right, you wouldn't want to cut yourself. 
No, my commemorative glass! Just let me know when you want to leave. Uh, excuse me. Are you talking about Hayden Weber? Might be. It's only a business though. And uh, we're going to save there. Mm. Anyway, guys. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway guys, I think that brings us to the end of this episode. Goodbye.